Hey guys, Rijodi here again. Today I will be explaining the guitar solo of the Within Temptation song Let Us Burn. Let's take a look at the very first thing that I play. I play a string band from the E note to the F sharp on the B string. People who know a little bit of music theory, they might already have discovered that the key of this song is F sharp minor. If you don't know exactly what that means, don't worry too much about it. I will be explaining that in some future lessons. Um, but for now, that's the most important thing to know that I play that. Second of all, I'm gonna play it extremely slowly so that you can take a good look. I play what they call in classical music terms a pedal note, which means that this F sharp always comes back. And around that I play a little melody or a scale or whatever you would call this. So this first thing very slowly looks like this. This guitar solo has a lot of string bends in it. So if you're not that familiar yet with the, with the concept of string bending, this might be a very good solo to learn because the next thing is going to be a, a string bend of a half step from the 14th fret, the C sharp in case you want to know. And it contains a slide and the slide is pretty simple. You play the higher note and you either pick it or you don't pick it extra, that, that's optional, but and you literally slide your finger from one fret to the other. So in total, that second leg goes like this. Like I said, lots of string bends, string bend Valhalla, this one. Next part. This also contains a release. A release means that you play a string bend and you release it and you string bend it again. There's something that I tend to do a lot. I really like the difference in sound quality of the same note but played on different strings. I could have easily done this. For some reason I decided to play this A note the second time around on the 14th fret on the G string, which is the same note, but it has a different quality in, in, in tone, in sound, in, in character. Um, I tend to do that a lot, I like it. The next part is a little bit familiar to the very first part of the, of the solo in the sense that I repeat a little phrase, like I repeated that one note in the very first part. I repeat this short, is it called a melody or is it just two notes? I have no idea, but... So very slowly I play these two notes a couple of times. Now that I'm analyzing my own guitar solo during the recording of this, of this lesson, I, I notice that I play my slide notes in a particular way. I tend to play the higher note twice, but the second time around I pick the note and then really quickly slide down. So you get something like... As opposed to... Also the previous part. As 
supposed to. Which could also have worked, but I, uh, for some reason I, uh, I chose to do this. Next up is this short bit with, yes, another string band. And I pretty much repeat that section one octave higher. But instead of going to that low F sharp, I go to the high one. Again, with that same string band as I did as the very first note of the guitar solo. So. And I always like it when a guitar solo ends in some kind of climax, whether it's a fast run or whatever, but in this case I chose to go higher up the neck to, to build a little bit tension. So the next part is... More string bends. For the people who are not that familiar yet with string bends and vibrato, it's a very good exercise to try this, to bend this note from the 19th fret to the 21st fret. And Keep it still, but only in the end let it vibrate a little bit, so that you get this. You will notice that in the beginning it's a pretty difficult uh, technique, because you need to keep control, you, you need to keep it in tune. And that's one of the most important things in a string band, obviously, you don't want to play out of tune. But at the same time that's also the most difficult thing. Only one more thing to go, and that's this part. You're up on this high string band, you let it come down, you release it. And for the people who are a little bit familiar with the concept of arpeggios, arpeggio, they might have seen that I play this E chord, E major chord, or even an E sus4 chord to be precise, on this last run. You can see this little shape and this shape in that last lick. This is an E chord. It's also an E chord. That's in case you are interested or familiar with arpeggios. Arpeggio. I really hope that you enjoyed this lesson. If you did, please press subscribe. Please subscribe to my channel because there's much more to come. And for now, I want to play this guitar solo once more, but slower. The original tempo is 100 BPM. Uh, now I'm going to be playing it at 70. Um, it's much slower, so it's easier for you to follow, to play along, and. Uh, more time to enjoy. Okay, see you later. Thank you very much. Enjoy the nice weather. Take care. Bye-bye.